Black Club Foundation. We are here with another adventure. So we go over here with the HHR and we are stuck in the snow. We are stuck in the snow. We about slide ready to slide in that ditch over there. Every time we try to get unstuck, we just slide closer, closer to this here ditch right here. And I don't know what to do. I came over here to drop off a, uh, a package for Instacart and yeah. I got stuck. Yeah, this is totally worth the 10 bucks I made off the Instacart. Yep. Man, uh, this guy, man, uh, pulled me out. I bent my uh, bump up a little bit, but I guess it's worth it. Ditch. <laughs> it's better than being in a ditch. Hey, thank you so much for uh, helping me out, man. Well, and uh, somebody stranded. Yeah, I would have been stranded out here for two days if you didn't help me, waiting for the water. No, John would have came out eventually, but he wouldn't have been a happy man. <laughs> oh, yeah, he might have came out with a shotgun. Be like, go. Oh. Fuck. Like, look at this road, man. I, I mean, I should, I know I should have drove down this road, but if I didn't, if I didn't finish this job, then I might have got kicked off the app. You know, I might get kicked off the app and then never lost my job. The only job I have right now, I guess it's not the only job, but the, you know, the best j crappy job I got going on right now is driving down the road, you know, you know, you know, so I don't know what to do. You know, I put it down in low gear. And just hope, pray to God that I don't get stuck again. Uh, I don't know. Instacart. What do you guys think I should do, man? I don't even know. You guys. Uh, I made it out of there alive. I can't believe it, man. A little bit of crazy stuff that I have to do to make a, make a little bit of money today. You know why? I have to go through all this stuff, and I shouldn't have to go through that stuff because of what society is. It's because I'm disabled, and because I can't get any other job, you know, if I should be making $20 an hour, instead I'm making $5 an hour doing these crazy jobs, risking my life for, you know, $5 an hour. $5 an hour, why? Because it's, I'm disabled and I handicapped. And then I got all these people, you know, that, that, are mad and angry at me because I'm poor. They're mad because I'm poor. Like, why don't you get a job, you bum? You're a bum. You should get a job. I'm like, I am working. I have a job. What are you talking about? You are a no good bum. And I'm like, why are you so angry? If you're so angry and hate me so much, why are you even do, like talking to me, man? Like, I don't. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve this ridicule. I don't deserve the treatment on this job. I mean, maybe I do. I don't know. But at least I'm thankful that I at least have something that keeps me busy and work and make money. I mean, this YouTube that I'm doing right now, I'm making uh, 48 cents per video, maybe, if I get, you know, a couple hundred views. I mean, it's like, yeah, you know. I don't need your two cents. I don't need your two cents, you do that angry subscriber, because that's, you're not even worth two cents to me. Ha! Ah, you know, so. But yeah, you still gonna be commenting, and I still have to block you comments for being completely rude. I might let some of them fly, but really, I can't believe, you know, the amount. You know, but I am working. I'm working every day doing Instacart, rain and sleet or snow because you know what? I got bills to pay. I got car insurance. I got gas. I got food. I got to eat. I have to eat. That's why well, you don't think I eat? Like, you think I'm like living off of the $20 that I make off of YouTube in a month? Like, geez, like, you really think I don't work? You know, like, the fact is that I probably work harder than, than you do. You know, because everything is harder when you're disabled. Everything is harder when you have handicaps. You're harder when you, you know, when you have, you know, it's, it is hard. And, you know, so, and then when you get done doing all this work, you have to just dump it in the gas tank. See, the gas 
gas tank. They, they, they think these cars run for free? No, you gotta put gas, insurance, thing. I didn't even know I do this job because it seemed like I'm just spinning my wheels like when I was stuck in the snow earlier. Just spinning my wheels. And you want to, you know, and he's like, why do you collect disability, man? Why do you apply for SSI? I'm like, yeah, I wish they would give me that, that for that. And even if they do, it's what, a couple hundred dollars a month? How am I supposed to live on that? You know, how am I supposed to live? Yeah, that's all they give you, a couple hundred dollars a month to disable or handicap, right? Like, and, then, and then you got to sign paper saying that you can't, don't, won't try to get a job, and if you do, just try to give it, you both forfeit your your money. So every month, and that's you know, and you can't own stocks, and you can't own this, and you can't do that, and you can't, you know, it's like okay, you, you know, people think it's easy to be disabled. They think that they all of these people are jealous. For the fact that I'm disabled, and some sometimes somebody give me five dollars, and you know it's mad because like twenty five a, a, a few years ago, people beat me up and almost left me to a dead because I open up my home to people to try to help people, you know. And how they say thank you is by kill, almost nearly killing me, and another person barely burned down my house, and somebody else killed my goat. That's how people say thank you. You know how people say thank you? By hitting the dislike button. That's what they say. That's okay. Hit that dislike button. Hit that like button. I don't care. And if you didn't, really don't like my video, just unsubscribe and stop watching. Because, like I said, I don't need your less than two cents. Over the frustrating and baggage that you know, it's all so. I don't know, we need to do something in society to help people that are disabled and challenge, you know. Like, they're, they're like, we have no the, the homelessness is the biggest thing that we have to do. That we think we have a pandemic, we think we that that there's some type of pandemic out here, and the pandemic is homelessness. The pandemic is mental, mental illness. The pandemic is not this virus that may or may not kill you. That's, that's, that's just, what's even bigger than that is the fact that more, anybody can tell you the risk of being homeless is a bigger issue than the pandemic, that quote unquote pandemic that we are facing in. Because, you know, a lot more and more people worry about whether or not they're going to be able to put food on the table. Not worry, but not, not that they might get this type of viruses going around. So, I mean, I'm not saying that the virus is not real or you should be concerned about it. But I'm just saying people are not concerned about it. They're more concerned about the fact that they could be homeless. So I just want to take, make this video just to kind of rant and let you guys know what I deal with on a daily basis. And I was hesitant to make this video because I didn't want to see to come off like a pity party. But I want to make this video to show you guys what I actually do with. Okay? And I'm sorry I won't make more into part videos than maybe I should. But it's hard to do that. And hard to make videos when you're busy working and using the phone to do the job. 